Have you ever wondered how some people can stay laser-focused for hours on end, while others struggle to concentrate for more than a few minutes? Well, today, we are revealing the secrets behind developing a godlike, unwavering focus. Andrew D. Huberman is an American neuroscientist and tenured associate professor in the Department of Neurobiology and Psychiatry and Behavioral Sciences at Stanford University School of Medicine. He explained in a YouTube video how to achieve absolute focus, all backed up with research data that will allow you in a single session to enhance your ability to focus. And no, it is not with meditation. The doctor discusses how your attention sometimes works well and other times it doesn't do so great. He suggests a quick 17-minute activity that can help you improve your focus for the long term. This activity reduces the number of times you miss out on noticing things during daily life, which he calls attentional blinks. People with ADHD usually experience more of these attentional blinks compared to kids and adults who don't have ADHD. When you are really focused on something you are interested in or looking for, you often end up missing other important information because you are paying too much attention to just one thing. Here is a thought-provoking idea about ADHD. While it is commonly believed that people with ADHD struggle to focus, it is also true that they can actually focus really well on things that matter a lot to them. The reason behind this might be that they have more of those moments where they miss out on paying attention called attentional blinks compared to people without ADHD. Recent data supports this idea, which could be really exciting for both people who have ADHD and anyone who wants to boost their focus and attention skills. The brain circuits responsible for focusing, paying attention, and ignoring distractions don't just struggle with focusing, they also tend to get stuck on specific things, causing them to overlook other important things. This means that individuals with ADHD might find it hard to stay on track because they end up giving too much attention to certain things and as a result, they miss out on other things that they should actually be paying attention to. What people with ADHD could benefit from is what is known as open monitoring. This quality is often linked to people who have practiced extensive meditation techniques like vipassana meditation or have spent a lot of time learning open gaze visual analysis and open gaze thinking. But there is a simpler way to achieve this too. Your vision operates in two modes. When you are focused and excited about something, it is like looking through a soda straw where you miss out on other things around you. This is when your attention is highly concentrated. On the other hand, your visual system also has the ability to expand your focus, which is called panoramic vision. This wider perspective can be quite beneficial. You can practice panoramic vision at any time, no matter where you are. Simply widen your gaze to take in the view of the floor, walls, ceiling, and everything around you. Panoramic vision relies on a different set of neural pathways that transmit information from your eyes to your brain. It is not only about seeing a wider area, it is also better at processing information over time with a higher frame rate. This ability can be trained and practiced by anyone, regardless of whether they have ADHD. This involves learning how to consciously expand and narrow your field of vision. It is actually quite simple for most people, regardless of whether they wear glasses or contacts. You can intentionally enter a state of open gaze and then you are able to also narrow your view if needed. There are documented cases in the scientific literature of a simple practice that takes around 17 minutes. In this practice, people are asked to sit quietly with their eyes closed. They are not told to achieve any specific mental state or focus, but rather to simply pay attention to their breathing and their interoception, which is how their body feels from the inside. If their thoughts wander, they are encouraged to bring their focus back to these sensations for about 17 minutes. At first glance, this practice might not appear to be very important or special, and you might not think it could make a difference. However, it is quite surprising that simply doing this practice for 17 minutes can significantly decrease the occurrence of attentional blinks. In other words, it makes people better at focusing in a lasting way, without needing extra training. This practice involves reducing the amount of visual information you are taking in and interoception, which is learning to pay attention to how you feel on the inside. 
this seems to create an awareness that helps people. So, when they need to spot visual things or concentrate on several things in a row, they don't experience the same number of attention blinks or fades. An important point to note is that as people grow older and their working memory and focus abilities decline, they tend to experience more attentional blinks. Recent studies are exploring whether this simple meditation style practice of 15 to 20 minutes could potentially counteract some of the cognitive decline that comes with age. No matter if you are young or old, dealing with ADHD, facing age-related cognitive changes, or simply want to maintain your cognitive abilities as you age, this simple practice of taking 17 minutes sitting and paying attention to your internal state, just intercepting and registering your breathing or registering the contact of your skin with whatever surface you are on, can forever rewire your brain to be able to attend better and possibly even offset some of that age-related attentional drift. We are not suggesting that everyone needs to start regular meditation or do anything they are not comfortable with. However, most people can likely manage one 17-minute meditation session. If there was ever a potent tool to reshape your attention circuits, this practice seems to be it. Also, the ability to activate panoramic vision by using open monitoring widens our gaze, which allows the brain to function in a way that it can detect more information at a faster pace. This tool is remarkable because it is effective from the very first attempt and consistently so. While the exact mechanism of how it works is not completely understood, the effects are significant and enduring and seem to emerge after just a single session of the 17-minute inner awareness exercise. This makes it truly valuable and worth considering for everyone. Now remember, you have the power to develop an unwavering focus, just like the pros. So, start implementing these strategies today and unlock your full potential. How often do you find yourself experiencing attentional blinks where you miss out on something important? Can you recall any instances? Let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, happy watching!